Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Stitched. Previously, we got through the labs and saw what was in Thai's room, and it was not good. There's a CD over on that counter. Maybe this is the end, like, I don't see any more rooms left. Perhaps it gave us more information about your father. Catherine obtains an old CD. I was initially hesitant to experiment on a young boy, but it seems everything went well. I'm very glad that he's alive and in good health. No, oh, no, that's the phi. Huh? Phi. Pho. The computer is still operational. Let's view the content of the CD. Of course. It's... it's father talking. See, this is the first day of the project. There is no... there will be no going back now. June. Year 2. Our first volunteer band of leukemia suffered from brain damage and died shortly after experiment. It was regrettable but necessary. See, we're short on test subjects, so I pleaded to my colleague for assistance. Using her influence as a colleague managed to secure home death row and life sentence convicts for experimentation. Scarlet. Nothing is working, the subjects keep dying. I already spent most of my fortune, and I'm just chasing a miracle. What should I do, Elaine? This is the end of the video. Let me read some lore. Discovery the subject's special power, the first successful experiment. Nearing bankruptcy, the Living Doll Project begins. Hmm. Information about the Living Doll Project must only be shared with the selected few. Widespread knowledge of the project could hinder it. The trusted few will be held accountable for the direction and outcome of the project. Father is full of secrets. Father is safe. Not yet. There are several video clips in this computer. Do you want to view them, Younglis? Yes. Hmm. This isn't Father's voice. Year 4, success at the last. We're on the verge of abandoning the project too, but thankfully a new volunteer arrived. Our efforts are finally paying off. May Year 5, with the first project a success, we went further and experimented on more test subjects. I believe we we're just missing a few key components to perfect our creations. Year of Sensei December, we received another test subject. The girl only arrived at the factory for a day, but the higher up asked us to operate her immediately. Catherine? The new subject exceeded all our expectations. She even developed a strange power that allows her to control dolls. No, it's someone else. What if I'm just a doll, and the other girl is Catherine, and I'm just a doll who thinks I'm Catherine? I don't know. Okay. So... Y is Discovery Subject Special Power. X is the first successful experiment. Bottom. Y nearing bankruptcy. X Living Doll Project begins. So let's take notes. So December 30th. And February 28th. Okay. Gold key. Now we need the other item. I have all the keys to escape. I should be happy yet I feel so empty. Everything will be okay. We'll make it through this. New objective. Open up the other drawer. And the other one was... Nearing Bankruptcy is the second one, and Living Doll Project Begins is the first one. So day is first, and then month is second. So day is first, 26. Twenty-six in the November, which is eleven. What do we get? Some pills. Oh, oh thanks. Well, let's get out of here.
I really want to read that lore. It's in the lore area. The doll slips and falls down, dropping a brooch in her pocket. Fascinates with it. Fascinates with it. Catherine picks up the item. The doll is possibly her mom. Or an attempt at her mom. Or we're gonna find another twist. Like he murdered the, she murdered the father. We're gonna see. Young miss, what is this? Agnes, mommy and I got it for you. No, it's Agnes. It's all for all the hard work she did last year. Little Catherine picked it up for you. I I am touched. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, madam. Thank you, young miss. So it's her been her maid all along. Which she didn't realize had probably been captured and turned into a test subject in that time frame of her being knocked out. I'm very grateful to be here. Here is your brooch. Thank you. Please excuse me for my clumsiness. It's okay. What troubles you? Agnes. You don't have to withhold information from me anymore, Agnes. I see. Why? Why did you hide your identity from me? With your mental state at that time, it was not a wise choice to reveal everything. I felt that would overwhelm you and worsen your heart condition. I am sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm happy to know that you've been with me all along, Agnes. Anyway, were you the only maid my father dragged into this? No. Mr. Stockholm's also brought in Annabelle and Bella. Oh, where are they? Gone. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can... No point in talking about it now. Let's keep moving. Escaping this factory should be our main priority. Y you're right. So... Let's see, I wonder how this is gonna go down. The the big bad... They're either gonna be... Catherine herself in some form. I'm saying... Fi, 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 fo, fum. Or... It's gonna be a number one of the maids, or it's gonna be Mary Scarlet. That that's our that's our who done it right now. Not much is known about the fourth successful experiment. Rumors speak that the subject gained some extraordinary power afterward. Something about controlling dolls. It seems to me that they hyped their success a bit too much. Bear, shoot the bear. Yes, I would love to shoot the bear. Agnes! I have to do something. Please give me your hand. I see dim light. Let's make haste. Let's go, let's go. What's here? Agnes, that's not a safe place to hide. You baited me! We're dead. Finally broken through, the bear runs towards the pair. It strikes Agnes, immediately peering her in half, and then turns his attention towards the defenseless Catherine. Should have hit under the bed while we had the chance. No, oh no, it's on screen! <laughs> Maybe I should not save. Okay. Now without that blocking our screen, we can get out of here. Thank you. I owe you my life. It was nothing, Agnes. You have done the same. But, you know, whatever. Anyway, I know you said you waited until we escaped, but I couldn't help myself. Will you tell me your story? Very well. It started a year ago, not too long after you departed for boarding school. Mr. Stockholm's needed additional assistance with his research, so he decided to bring us maids to the factory. He took the three maids of the most experienced, Annabelle, Bella, and me. He left Tiffany and Mary back at the mansion. We worked for your father for a few months before he ran out of test subjects and turned his attention to us. I volunteered and became the first successful experiment, the living doll. As for the other two, you already know their fate. I'm so sorry for what you went through, Agnes. We'll return home and forget about this whole ordeal. Well said, Miss Catherine. 
am sorry. It seems I need some rest. Okay. Okay. No. No. That's too dangerous. The bear is still out there searching for you. Do not worry about me. You need to head to the front gate. I will meet you there once I'm rested. Agnes. Please promise me that you'll be there. <gasps> I have lost so much. I don't want to lose another family member. I will meet up with you, young miss. You have my word. That's such a death flag. You're gonna stop the bear Terminator style, aren't you? Well, let's go back and find the secret lore in the bear zone. This bear be good. After all these times I was finally able to put it together, that wretched woman wanted this all along. We were just pawns perfecting her toy. And now she abandons us to our fate. Okay, yeah, so it's Mare Scarlet. Straight forward. I have to provide a passcode. So apparently I've never provided one for floor one. Lency. No, no, no. Ding. Now I just need to make it out alive. Well, might as well drink one of these. Let's hit the save point. Dang it! Dang them! to find out if the fret has any effect on the ending. You know, we never did get this fret here. Well, we can now. This Descent of Madness by Oliver Townsend. Whatever. <laughs> bear! Shoot the bear! I wish we could. What? Why is it still locked? Totally breathing and prevented from being discovered. Press left, then right alternately. I'm free! That door won't hold that beast for long. I have to hurry. Ugh. It's raining so hard. Curse my doll body. New objective. What is my... The first gate. The white key. Mm -mm. The bronze key. Mm -mm. Really? The silver key. I'm almost there. Really? The parking lot's infested with dolls? Like, is the whole world doomed? The dolls took over the world and, like, it's Planet of the Apes here? Like, I'm a skeleton and I rule with my dolls. This is the plot. It's like, you blow it up. I didn't blow it up. I improved humanity. Ouch. I guess these are pattern-based ones. Yup! Never mind. I thought they were pattern-based ones, but I think they're just... I'm gonna murder you ones. Let's dance! Pookie wookie wookie! Never close call. All your hopes, all your dreams will perish. Only the spirit and agony will remain. <coughs> what? How's that work? What am I even doing here? Hmm. Hmm. Don't go up. Oh, I guess it's an indoor parking lot. We haven't left the facility yet. Sure. <laughs> Feels like I've slowed down again. Yeah, I accidentally 
switched out my shoes. Bear. I'm very sorry. Yep, 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 no, no. Okay, we made it. Oh, did we? Oh, I see how it is. You're taking a shortcut. Where did it go? It's gonna do some teleport behind you thing. Nothing personal. Oh my god. You gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving on. Now what? Oh, she is okay. Made to make my way down to the entrance. The young miss must be worried. The young miss is terrified. New objective. Play as a new character. Oh, we have a profile. Elegant Rouge. Is that it? Or is that flashback? You ran off with that boy and left your mother alone. Now you return for comfort after he deserted you. Mother, the baby. I do not care about your baby, that is your problem. Leave, I do not want to see your face here again. No, please, I have nowhere to go. Madame, you are my I do nothing for you. If only you're still alive, no, this would have happened. Let's grab that pistol. Hmm. I think Isaac would leave a loaded pistol on display. That reckless man. Why is no one taking the pistol? No, oh, we take the long way down. Uh oh, Fine might be looking for us. Needs more body parts. Huh? No, where'd I leave it? I cannot lose that item. New objective? Was it in here? Hmm. Was it in here? Probably not. It's gotta be in the other rooms. Or in back in here. There. Oh, you dear, you poor thing. Here, take this. Thank you for your generosity, madame. Madam, why is a pretty girl like you would do such a state? It's okay if you don't feel comfortable telling me. Anyway, mind if I ask you for your name? My name is Agnes, madam. Agnes, that's a nice name. You can call me Elaine. Madame Elaine, it's cool out here. You should go. You're right, it is. Hey, Agnes, how would you like to return to my home for a while? I don't think your family would want you to be around someone like me. My husband won't like it, but it's fine, not very persuasive. Besides, you'll catch hypothermia sitting out here. I, I. Come on now, I'm not leaving without you. Thank you. Thank you, madame. Is it the brooch? <sighs> Thank goodness, I was worried that I could never find this again. Annabelle's necklace. Annabelle. If only I was there to stop Isaac. You deserve better.
Why are we never taking the pistol? Just grab the pistol. I hope Miss Catherine is alright. Meanwhile, my life is hell. Seems like the rain stopped. Oh? Oh! Ho, 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 ho. The last gate's up ahead, just a bit more. <laughs> no, no, trees are evil. Someone please, help! Don't worry, Kathy. Teddy is coming. He will leave you all your sufferings, so just lie there and relax. <laughs> Maybe the reason Kath Miss Scarlet is so pretty is that she's a doll. Hmm. What time is it? Gosh, it's new already. Father, are you home? I forgot, he's busy with work. I'm never important enough for him. Uh, I have to stop thinking about this. I need some fresh air. I need to find my phone. Where is my phone? I can't text without my phone. Or play the Fate Grand Order. Japanese edition, because I'm not a square. My phone! Got her on the catch. Hmm, only 6% left. That's why you carry a portable battery pack. I need to find the phone charger. The phone charger's not there. It ain't there. Ah! The phone charger. Catherine obtains a phone charger. Now where's that power outlet? There's one up there. But I think you want me to go to the one that's shiny in the bathroom. This could be some flashback where something happens while I'm in the bathroom. There. I should find something to do while the phone is charging. Let's, uh... Let's go over here and, uh... Drink. My medicines. Father always tells me to keep some of me whenever I go out. One pill should be plenty. The old family portrait when Mother was still here. Boy, we, uh... We look like the Tim Burton family. It's not really Tim Burton, I'm using it in general terms. Don't give me shit about that. I miss her so much. It's more like 90s, 90s era children's book that tried to be like a little bit gothy. That's how I describe this game's art. It kind of grows on you because of that. Let's read this letter from Mother. My dearest Catherine, I'm sorry I can no longer return home to spend every precious moment with you. I'm sorry I did not possess the strength to defy fate so I may go on all the splendid adventures I have envisioned of you and your father. Over these past 12 years, you have brought light into my world where darkness has reigned. You are my angel, and there is no mother more delighted to watch a little girl grow to such an elegantly young lady. Thank you for bringing joy to my existence. I will never forget the first day we brought you home. You started crying when we left the hospital, and we desperately tried everything we could to get you to smile. Your eyes then fixated on a purple bracelet I had on, and you reached for it. Where there once were tears, a glimmer of fascination arose, and a smile ran across your face. It brought me joy to reminisce about that moment, for your smile was all we could have asked for. Do not grieve when I'm gone, my love. You have a bright future ahead, so be strong for me. For your father, and most importantly, for yourself. I wish you all the success and happiness this world has to offer. Please continue moving forward, as many of life's great experiences lie ahead for you, my darling. Love you and always forever, Mother. Mother. <laughs> now what? Oh, my bracelet. Dang, you really look like you're more like your mother than your dad. I wonder what day it is today. I'm very forgetful lately. Mom, it's my birthday. No, no, that can be right. Your birthday's on a different day. 
But... Oh, look over there, sweetie. Huh? I don't see... Is it presents? It's a present! Easily amused. Happy birthday, Catherine. This is not the N64 I asked for, Mom. I hate it. Bring it back to the store. Give me an N64 and a Mario. Oh, man. A generation growing up like that. Mother was always there for me, and Father was different. He put his family before everything. Why'd everything have to change? Congratulations! You charge your phone. Time to head out. But first, a save point. Oh man, we have a big house. I'm jealous. It's locked, despite the light shining through. What? <coughs> Is something wrong with the light? I don't even notice anything. What are you worried about? Clarity pill. Oh, we're gonna need this, aren't we? What am I even here for? Do we need Teddy? It's my old Teddy bear that Mother bought for me when I was a kid. I was looking for this for months. Why isn't it Father's office? I feel like this game would have benefited if this was happening earlier in the game. I feel like I'm being lore dumped right now. The safe requires a password to open. What could it be? Is this showing like how we're spooked by everything? Like this is our daily life? Check this shelf out first. A Mother's Nightmare by Gregory Thomas. A story about a young girl who discovered her mother's darkest secret. Mother, I discovered your secret in the basement. My God, you know. Now you must die. No, Mother. How could you collect amiibos? Oh, it's one of Father's puzzles. Just so tempting. Those little plastic toys. Mouse in the maze. This is important. Hmm. Looks like I have to guide the toy mouse to the cheese. What's with these switches? Press C or interact with the door to turn the switch on and off. It's alright, I don't need no door switch. Mr. Mouse. Hmm. Which switch? Purple. Purple's a good color. He knows my jam. All right. Hmm. Black. Great. Great. Yeah, see that one one run. Okay, it was important. The princess birth month C. The princess birthday S. Roman numeral four N. Passcode C N S. Strange paper. A slab of cheese for a mouse, a crescent key for the princess. It's Mary trying to play a prank on me again? Is this a flashback or is this a dream? Or a dream flashback? A mansion of cards by Gregory Thomas. The commanding queen passed away at a young age. The feeble king lacked leadership and perished soon afterward. The callous joker took the king's life before fading into the shadow. With the king dead, the stern jack turned to serve the ace, since as of ace struggled to take command of disjointed troops. This sounds familiar. Foreshadowing or a puzzle solution? That's the question. So the passcode goes in order of C and S. So... IV. 
So one five. Birth month. So one five either goes here or here. And then the birth month is here, and then the birthday is there. So Catherine is June twenty fifth. So maybe it's this. Two, five, and then one, five? Shazam! As you know, it's two, five, and then four? Oh, four? Or is it oh, six? Oh, six, four. Yes. Okay. Cavern obtains a crescent key. So the inclusion of the zero, where to put it, changes that puzzle a bit. Not much, but it gives you two variances depending on how you interpret it. Use the crescent key. To head downstairs. I have my phone now, I can go shopping. <gasps> oh no, I need this clarity pill. What happened to the light? The main quarter is close by. I should see if they can, they can fix this. But the clarity pill barely lasts anything at all. So what's the point? Throw up playing cards. Father uses an inspiration for some of his puzzles. Oh, I see. The father... The father is the one that did all this. So you don't be fun, Elaine. What, my dear? I'm gonna make the house full of puzzles! What's the point of that, my dear? Because it's convoluted and fun! I don't think it's fun, my dear. I think it's just annoying. You want breakfast, you must earn it! Agnes, Annabelle, Annabelle, Tiffany, Mary, anyone there? They're all dolls. Where did they disappear to? We need to find a flashlight. A proud princess must be able to command her subjects at whim. However she lacks willpower and commitment, what good is she? This has to be Mary's doing. Yes. A flashlight. Oh boy. Oh? Oh. Two variables A, B. Discard, retain. Youngest goes first, oldest comes last. This sounds like some kind of code to like figure out where to pick up drugs. Kevin requires a password, huh? of course. Damn you, father! Captivating, perfectionist, playful, caring, honest. You have to link that up the dolls. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's, there's a puzzle. There's a puzzle in every room. Wait, no way. What about over here? Is there a puzzle in this room too? I think they're- I can't tell, honestly. Could be. Oh no. Oh no. The finale is nothing but puzzles. Pacing in, in game now. This drawer requires a password to open too. There's two puzzles in this room! There's one to the left of the room, and there's one to the right of the room. Maybe all the puzzles unite for one answer for that one over there. Oh man. This is gonna be fun. Agnes's age is a combined age of Tiffany and Mary. Agnes is in her 30s. God, we're playing Carmen San Diego. So what the secretly was. It's just an old PC game. Everything's just a puzzle. It's like Math Blaster, Carmen San Diego. You go in the next room. Like, you must defeat me! 
Luke? But to defeat me, you must solve these mass problems that I'll bring down from the sky with force powers. Imagine if Star Wars went down like that. Star Wars 5th grade jumpstart. Agnes is the eldest main, but how old is she? Mm -mm. No. Mary is between 14 and 19 years of age. Mary's a few younger than me. 15. Oh right, Mary's 15 years old. Agnes is in her 30s. I'm gonna take a shot on Dark for the hell of it. You actually probably can like look at the doll earlier and like just guess. Mm -mm. Maybe it was 34. Annabelle is two years younger than Bella, but a decade older than Tiffany. Annabelle is older than 27, but younger than 33. Twenty-eight. I just took a shot in the dark. It's kind of easy, actually. Bella is twice the age of Mary and three years younger than Agnes. Well, Agnes is older than thirty, right? Thirty-two. That sounds like a nice even number. Okay. Tiffany's older than Mary by three years. She's still in her teenage years. 18. So she's 18. Twice the age of what's her face. 15. 28. That's Annabelle. And that's Tiffany. I thought I entered 33. What did I enter? 34? Or I entered 32? It's a good guess. 33. So you were literally 30. We got them all! Okay. That's the solve one puzzle. Two variables A, B. A discard, B retain. Youngest goes first, oldest comes last. So we discard the first number and then retain the second? And then we go from youngest to oldest? So... That was an... So five... Eight... Eight, five, eight, eight, three, zero, five, eight, eight, three, zero, five, eight, eight, three, zero. No. Oh, I mixed it up. Zero, three, five, eight, eight, zero, three. Oh. There we go. Mixed up in my head. Oh, another pill. Obtains a speed pill. Was that really just all the... Nah, whatever. Whatever. Maybe I need the speed pill later. It's not useless. One, two, three, four, five. Playful, caring, and honest. That's to get the key. So I think I gotta go to the other rooms and solve those puzzles to solve this puzzle, which is what I suspected in the first place. Dog. Hmm. Hmm. The drawers. All these are to Charlotte, Bella, Lawrence, and each from a different man. Bella's quite the beauty, so that's not very surprising. I wonder why she never told me that her first name is Charlotte. Key for the mailbox. Hopefully Bella didn't forget to bring in the mall mail today. Almost said mall. So this is Bella. Two, and there's like an eight up there. Agnes is a professional on the piano. She used to play the bride of my mood. Cute porcelain doll. Happy 30th birthday, Agni. Thank you for always being there looking out for me. Anyway, wish that fortune and prosperity surround you, but not just on a special day, but every day. 
Also, I made this too free for you. Hope you like it. Love of all my heart, Annabelle. Woof. Fade of memories by Alan Wright. A bunch of notes from cognitive behavioral therapy sessions that Agnes has been taking to help her cope with the claustrophobia. That's why she doesn't like elevators. See? Hope's end. Violin is one of Agnes' favorite musical instruments. Okay, so these aren't... They're all part of a bigger puzzle, thank God. So Agnes... She is one of the... I think she is the oldest. I mean, she'd be the last one, too. And this is Belle. Which is eight. Uh, which one were you on here again? Thirty. Eight. So zero, eight. It's kind of like an inverse of that puzzle over there. No, it's actually does not based on age. The other one is based on age. This one is um, based on their personality. So you have to go in the room and you gotta figure out the personality types. So... Belle is, uh, I'm assuming is captivating, because she has a lot of men after her. So she's one. So she ought to be eight. Caring or perfectionist could be Agnes. Could be Amor two, or it could be four. So who's in here? Who's in room five? Task complete this weekend. Chris Finale. We're gonna clean a room. Tiffany is, looks like the studious one. Organized. Okay. So Tiffany is like orderly and stuff. It's a five. Who's this? Seven years ago, I was a girl of no dream of, or aspirations selling foods on the sidewalk. Sometimes I wasn't able to sell anything. Other times I was mocked and ridiculed. On days I didn't bring back enough money, I would get beaten. It was horrible. I hated my life. I wanted to die. But then I met Lady Stockholms. She gave me a shelter, she gave me food, she gave me love, and she gave me hope. After all these years, I finally feel alive. Aspiration. What's this? Back when I was a kid, whenever the adults found I was lying, they would send me outside for the night after giving me a rough beating. It was traumatizing to the point that I promised myself to never tell a lie again. Or honest. Mary scribbles. She needs to improve her handwriting. Mary, I think, is like the one like dirty. Makes a mess. Mary's room is messy like usual. Photo of Mary's father. Remember her used to, he used to work as a butler for the family. It's a shame he passed away a few years back. Mary was left to fend for herself so the ever maids convinced the father to let her live here. For once he was reasonable. Mary, when you return from your little adventure, please try not to neglect your task. It will not be there to come your own time. Father doesn't like Mary very much. But thankfully Agnes is always a lookout for her. Okay, so ask. Let's see. My hopeful. Blah blah blah. Five seven. Look at the order again. Captivating, which is Bell. Perfectionist. Okay, which is Tiffany. Playful. Maybe Mary, and then caring is Agnes, and then honest is. So eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven, uh, two. What was your number again? Oh, I don't blame your number. Eight, five, seven, two, four. Uh, let me go back. Three. 857 857 five, 857 five, five, It's be easy if I wrote this down. 857 2 triple Ah. Ah, the key to the front door. A shiny. I'm gonna trade that for bear Pokémon. See what I did there? I made a Pokemon reference. It's very witty. It's very hip among the YouTubers. Pokemon's popular. Nintendo's on the up and up. Get on those references while you can. 
It won't be fresh forever. I mean, hit of the humor. Your desire to fall a light of hope will only bring forth dark revelations. Are you prepared for that, princess? Yes, I am. I'm ready to be a Jedi. See what I did there? It's a Star Wars reference. Also very trendy. A new movie coming out. Oh, no. Kathy. What a coincidence. It's little Kathy. Ah! Stay away! <laughs> Is that a way to treat your special guest? Is the mayor just like evil? I'm assuming you're the mayor. Such a rude girl. Foolish girl. You cannot run from your troubles forever. Well, we're gonna damn try. I need to get away. And run from my troubles forever. <laughs> How fast are you? You're mildly fast. What? Okay, this is a dream. What? Why am I here? Do I remember the route that the mouse took? Oh, yes. Oh, look, a little mouse trapped in her own maze. <laughs> Went down this way. No, no! No, no! Well, let's try finding an alternate route. That doll was camping my routes. <laughs> well, that is not the correct route. So we're gonna run this way. And we're gonna hope for the best. Now, I don't believe in, like, hope anymore, because I'm in that corner. But, you know, it's gonna work <laughs> out. She doesn't know I'm here. Arr! So I suspect they really want me to use these pills. Now, I'm very obstinate about it, but I guess I got to, like, do what they want me to do. Use the speed pills. Gonna go... You know, I don't care, I gotta go fast with these things, like, still run. Of course, the clarity pill, like, already disappears. The speed pill is at least required. <laughs> oh, no! Why is my house a maze? Nope, 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 nope. Been bamboozled. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm gonna try getting for this without the speed pill. I think the speed pill's required, I'm pretty sure, because she's catching up pretty damn fast. Like, as soon as I see her pass by these lights right behind me, I know I'm doomed. No, okay, we can... Maybe make it about the speed pill. Oh, she's getting pretty close. Yep, yeah, yeah, this way. So my speed pill. I guess the speed pill was just a little optional thing. Make it a little bit easier. You get kind of lost. You can maybe recover your run. <laughs> well, that's gonna block my way. But I already know it's coming, so this time I'm not gonna be bamboozled. Now, this way. Deep in your heart, you know it's hopeless. Why not just accept it, Kathy? Because I don't accept many things in my life. Especially you. <laughs> Looks like I have no choice. You're accepted. <laughs> I'm getting a heart attack. Thank you. Except many things. May need to use a snow. Okay, we can get through without the speed pill. Here, I don't know. Nope. Run the other way. Do recovery. Oh crap. Oh no. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Where's your house at? Where is your house at? It's not over here. Oh crap! It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Photo finish. Wait, that's no, not over yet. The restroom. Yeah, that's right. You see that mad juke? Yeah, come on up in here. Come on, you want a piece of this? Come on. It's all here. Come on. Open up, sweetie. 
There's no one left to run. No, you scrub. No, leave me alone! You had your chance when I made that wrong turn down that hallway. Now, now, where is the fun in that, darling? You gonna cut through it and say, here's Johnny? <laughs> this is what's gonna happen? Oh dear, it's so dark in here. Let me turn on the light for you. Big reveal, who is it? It's me! Or is it? It, it can't be. I... you... who are you? So naive. Haven't you looked in the mirror lately? <laughs> Don't you remember murdering those factory workers? Don't you remember murdering your own father? Don't you, Kathy? Don't you? Oh, so it wasn't me in the end. So I told you, it was either going to be Scarlet, or it was going to be me. Or another no. me. That's not me! I would never... They experiment on us. Turn us into a freak. Worst of all, his father. He neglected his own flesh and blood, and even had the guts to use us as a tool to fulfill his selfish desire. Every single one of them deserves to die. The question is, is it a symbolic enemy, or are we literally in two bodies? Mind and soul. That can't be true. Don't deny it. This is who we truly are. No. No, I am not the murderer. <laughs> you just need to give in, Kathy. It will be over soon. If I could control dolls, why are the dolls trying to murder me? Young miss, please wake up. This is not good. She's out cold. Fortunately, her injury is not severe. I need to get the young miss out of here. That bear will come at any moment. Huh? Huh? Where's Where Agnes? Am I? <gasps> this this is Agnes's brooch. I have to find her. Please, please be okay. You remember why I said the death flags for Agnes? No. No! Bear Goner. Agnes, please speak to me. Uh, Miss Catherine, I'm glad that you are safe. We, I'll get help. It's fine. There is nothing that can be done. No, I won't let you die. I won't let it end like this. We have to return home together. I am sorry. I have to distract the beast. Your life is too precious for me to abandon. Please, leave me. You still have a future to look. Agnes. Is that the end? Is it just that, that? Is that where it's gonna cut right there? What happened to the bear? Huh. It's a little bit abrupt. Is there another ending I don't know about? No, I didn't really see anything that would trigger that. Well, I guess that's the reveal, then. That that the other girl is just her, her imagination. I mean, we kind of saw that coming. It was one of the possibilities. Then why were the dolls trying to murder her? Alternate ending. Oh no, we failed. Okay. That makes more sense. Fortune favors you, darling, for I still need my little doll. I'm telling you, we needed that gun. Why didn't no one take the gun? So they get the ever ending. Like I went around trying to figure out what'd be the trigger for it. And I'm suspecting this may be optional and this may be it. So I'm gonna let her fall. 
In the brief second that Catherine hesitates, the bear leaps between her and Agnes. Out of fear, Catherine rushes toward a nearby room, leaving Agnes to her fate. Because this is going to separate them. And I think that's going to be the major difference. It seems like that's what was affecting the ending. Is her character coming back to save her? What have I done? Agnes. Why? Why am I such a coward? Why can't I save anyone? So I think it's going to be the same from here on out. So we'll skip to the ending then when I get to it. Huh? What is wrong? You look like you saw a ghost. <gasps> Agnes! Tell me, how does it feel abandoning others, leaving them to die? I'm sorry. I suppose the innocent girl you once were is long gone. Beneath that sweet face, you are a monster. Just like your father. Bella, Annabelle, I love them like sisters. The little did I know that maids like us are disposable toys that can be replaced. No matter, he's gone now. It was satisfying watching the dolls make quick work of him. No! Please, I don't want to hear any more. You will not have to. That beast is on its way here. Agnes, please! Hmm. Begging will not help. For traitors do not deserve mercy. Oh. It's for the best. We will have led into the doll apocalypse anyway. I will be taking this key. Sleep well, little Kathy. Okay. So this is the same finale, so how's it gonna finally end then? <gasps> so see, that's why the gun is missing if you go check it as Catherine. But when you check it as the doll, it's still there, see? So it's a bit of a, uh, kind of a programming timeline issue. Maybe she'll come back and shoot the bear. She'll feel bad. Or we'll just get Ian, that'll be the ending, which will be hilarious. Let's just see that ending. You wake up. You wake up and it's just that, that's the finale. That's the true end. You're a bad person. Here's a bear. Play some heavy metal music afterwards. Bruce Campbell comes on the scene. It's like, groovy. that's crazy. Wake up and find your answers then. Teddy has a surprise for you. That's sort of like the only dialogue that's different. So let's see how the finale changes without Agnes there. Wait, we're back in the house. Where am I? Oh, my head. Is Teddy our father? <gasps> Why am I back here? No! More stitches. What happened to me? New objective. Let's do this all over again. Hmm. Ah! Bear! No! Stay away! Please leave me alone! Huh? Wait, why did it stop? That bracelet. Something is attached to the bracelet. Catherine, I'm very sorry for not being by you after your mother's death. I fear that the same illness that took your mother from me might take you as well. I opened a factory and started the Living Doll Project, with the goal of saving humans by transforming them into dolls. Oh, that sure worked out. After hearing the news of your injuries from the Crimson Express accident, I was horrified. I did not want to lose you, my precious daughter. So I had no choice but to make you one of the patients in my project. While I was able to save your life, I could not forgive myself for my actions. I know that you will despise me for the rest of your life, 
But remember one thing. Everything I did was for your sake, Catherine. Love, father. So if you're suddenly nice now, why have you been killing me before? I just want those people to leave me alone. I never meant to hurt them. So this is what Catherine really looks like. Those dolls. They couldn't be controlled. No, this isn't me. It isn't me. I could... I couldn't. There's no possible way. That's right. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Teddy things makes more sense because she had a Teddy too. Teddy, you believe me, right? Hey, I just murder people, you know? Now do whatever you want. The bear tries its best to comfort its master as her face is devoid of color. Is that the true ending? Is it going to be never abrupt ending? There's not a truer ending, is there? So, like, what happens now? Like, she just sits in the factory? Does she lead a doll army to take over the world? Agnes escaped in this round, I guess. I, I don't know. Like that. Both of these endings were pretty cold endings. And why did Teddy like suddenly feel nice to her at the end? Was Teddy just chaotic based on her emotions? Here we go. A year later, a man unknowingly enters the factory to avoid the rain. Dang, it's pouring outside. I gotta get to that YouTuber con, because I'm a YouTuber named Manly Badass Hero. Hello, is anybody here? Hope nothing goes wrong here. What's with this place? Oh boy, you've gone worse. Hello there. Did you come here because you're lonely? Worry not. I'll be your friend. <laughs> Second credits. Okay, true ending. So I guess you really did just sit in that factory forever. I would prefer the doll armada taking over the world. Yes, darling, reach that potential. Soon, you will be all mine. Maybe, maybe it's leading into it. Maybe there's still a chance of the Doll Armada. So that's it for Stitched. So, I'm, uh, like, the, the way the ending is formed, like, I'm not too surprised. Like I said, it was one of my outcomes in my head. The true ending route is a little bit quirky. Um, both endings actually kind of leave off and are a little bit cold, even with the little epilogue scene. Like, yeah, she's just in the factory, but, like, is that it? She just murdered people when they pass by? I guess it's just a little of a twisted thing. It's not quite a satisfying conclusion I wanted, though. It could've been... If it was gonna go evil, I would've been happier for, like, it went a little bit more twisted. Like, just go all the way ham. Dollar Mata. I'm just saying. We should've seen the Dollar Mata take over the world. But anyway. So, Stitched. It's a game that I kind of like. Um, I actually did enjoy it. At the same time, it is not, you know, like necessarily, it's got flaws. Um, and, and I would say the flaws are not necessarily pacing on its own, because there was never a part I was really bored with this game. There was always something kind of jump scaring me, or moving along, or chasing me, or there was always another puzzle. There's really not much downtime in this game, if any at all. Um, as it goes back to another complaint I had earlier, where I said the, the structure for a pretty good game is there. There's nothing too convoluted, there's nothing really dumb with it. The the puzzles are actual puzzles, like, they range from in quality, but they're all actual puzzles. That's rare in these type of games. The art is interesting and distinct. Um, it makes sure to always have something kind of happening, like I said. It just needed some atmosphere build up. And I think it was relying on the art and the jump scares and the little chase scenes to kind of do that. You know, it, it would have actually been nicer to have some more gore. That sounds a little weird, but this game, I feel like it, it was, it's a pretty hammy game, and it, it could have gone even more ham. Like some of those scenes with, um, like the one secret scene with Fi when he's like switching together with his parents and stuff like that. It should have been, should have been some more twisted stuff like that, because I mean that's where this game is strong. It being this kind of like twisted story. 
Because most of the core, ironically, we see in sprite work, and it's the generic core sprites, which is a little disappointing. I had that great opener in the beginning, where you like you go in the other room, and then you see the other room across, and there's a shadow like tearing up a body or something. So, like, I just need a little more scenes like that, because that's a good atmospheric setup scene. So, to sum it up, fun game, at least for me anyway. More twisted atmosphere. A little bit more of the plot being told earlier on, and it's kind of dumped at the end. So, like, the little interesting thing of, like, going back to her house and kind of reliving it, that's like a finale thing. There should have been some little more interesting things scattered about in the main game. Maybe a couple puzzles cut out instead. But that sums up my review, my stitched together review of the game. <laughs> so anyway, thank you all for watching me play Stitched. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.